Hello everyone, I just wanted to give a quick updated tutorial on how I go about recording and editing my Beat Zipper videos for YouTube. I came across this Reddit post recently asking a question as to how to increase the field of view of a recording. And I did see some comments on here that it's only a mod for PC. Now this isn't entirely accurate. Now the question on Reddit was specifically for PSVR 2, so I don't think this will help this person. But technically, I do not use any mods to record my Beat Zipper. Uh, gameplay. Everything is vanilla Beat Saber in-game smooth camera functionality, so I'll go ahead and show you all of my settings in-game, uh, plus some OBS stuff, and hopefully this will help you all out. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my Steam. I'm going to right-click on Beat Saber and go to Properties. This will allow us to enter a launch option in this text box here. I'm going to put FPFC, and what that setting does is it lets us use our mouse in the game rather than having to be in VR. We can just move our mouse and click as if it were a VR controller. So here we are in the game. You can see as I move my mouse, the camera follows it, and we have that little cursor. Let's go over to the settings now. First settings we see are the graphics. We have anti-aliasing, rendering scale, and rendering resolution here. I have 1440p in max shock wave particles. I have at zero, and that mirror quality I have set to high. That's the important one. Make sure that's high. In the camera settings, I have smooth camera enabled 170 for my FOV, which is maxed out, and the smoothness is set to 0.7. I found that to be kind of a happy medium. All right, in OBS, in the output tab, I have indistinguishable quality large file size as the recording quality. In the video, I have that 1440p set in the 60 FPS. 60 FPS is important for fast games like this to make sure the uh, recording isn't choppy. If your machine can only handle 1080p recording, you can set that both in-game and in OBS, no worries there. The output file you'll just stick in the, in the timeline of your favorite video editor, and we'll be exporting this in 4K. So whether you have a 1080p or a 1440p, just make sure that it's exporting in 4K here. So the reason we're doing this is that YouTube gives a better bitrate and also uses a better encoder for um, videos that are above 1080p. So by exporting it in that larger resolution, we're getting better quality on YouTube. All right, so after this renders, the last step is just to upload it to YouTube. That's all I do. Have a good day.